Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So we are doing the weekly oracle card guidance and this week I am using the energy oracle cards. You may go ahead and ask whatever question you'd like uh, for whatever guidance you need. It is quite an intense week with the super full moon eclipse that's on um, Wednesday this week and there's quite a lot of energies coming to the fore and um, yes uh, I think uh, perhaps I will do a separate energy forecast for that. In the meanwhile, just to get started, we are just doing a weekly oracle card guidance. And if you've come to this reading at a different stage uh, where there's no eclipse, this um, meaning should still apply to you. It's really what you're drawn to at a particular time. All right, so go ahead and make your selection. You can choose between the numbers one, two or three. And I'm going to go ahead and start the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the number one, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? I feel like it's this card here, so I'm just going to get that out. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have the cornucopia or the cornucopia. And this is a card that signals abundance. It's a time for this week to be able to unravel new things, to be able to move ahead in a direction that allows abundance to flow into your life. And I feel like here the message is to be able to simply allow it, allow it to be. Because there is abundance flowing in your direction and there's no end to it. It's simply on your path and it's flowing to you. And it's about you just allowing it or being in a position to be able to accept it. And so I feel like with this card here, one of the things that come up is to examine what types of beliefs you have that might be stopping you from allowing your cornucopia to actually flow through in your life. Uh, for all your wishes and your dreams and whatever you desire to kind of flow freely in your life. Where is it that you might have a limiting belief um, that this is not possible, that it's not possible to have what you would like, what you truly desire, and that you need to settle for less than that. So this card here is really talking about how you can create whatever it is that you desire and you just have to imagine it. You just have to want it and you have to believe that it's possible to have it and then you can actually have it. So I'm also hearing here that you shouldn't limit yourself in any way whatsoever. You should just allow yourself to be free and then just examine your beliefs because your beliefs here are going to be what actually uh, ultimately guides you. So if you see yourself as a ball of light in the world, um, it, you know, whatever you're reflecting out into the world, whatever your perception is of yourself, Whatever you understand about yourself is what you put out in the world. And so if you have any kind of insecurities or any kind of belief that you're not okay with doing something or you're not um, able to do something or that it's going to be hard for you to, to be able to get what you want to get, then that is what you're going to be reflecting outside of you and that is what you're going to be creating for you. So it's best to kind of clear the slate press that reset button, which this eclipse allows you to do and simply just move forth through this energy, really move forth through this energy and really, you know, allow it to, to sprinkle all over you, allow the abundance to flow in your life and allow it to be limitless in a way. All right. So that's a quite a short message. I'm just going to leave you with that though, because I feel that that's quite, um, what that is what you need to hear and that's all you need to hear for the moment because that's all you need to concentrate on for this week as you go ahead um i feel here that um there is one last message and that is that uh as things go along um even if they seem to steer away from where you need it to go even if it goes in an opposite direction it's important to know that this cornucopia here this place of abundance always exists and you can always return to this place whenever you want it to. It's not a random thing that comes out of nowhere. It's a space that you create for yourself and that you can go to anytime you want to. And so it's not just now that this is coming through to you, although they want to you to be aware of the fact that it's now more potent than it usually is. 
All right, so I'm going to leave you with that and I'm wishing you a blessed, abundant week ahead. Please stay safe, stay healthy and well and ride these eclipse energies. Don't let it ride you. <laughs> all right, lots of love and um, blessings to you all. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're asking, what is it that you need to know? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is it that you need to know right now? I feel like it's a, this card here. I'm just going to go with this. We have the card of number 29 and it's the world. So the world card is, you know, usually the world is your oyster, you know, get ready to take on the world. You have limitless resources and you can do whatever you'd like to do. And I feel that this energy is the, the energy of the author of this deck as well. But what I feel here as I draw it for you this week is that there needs to be a recognition that this world in this world exists uh, various types of people and various types of entities and various influences. And sometimes they're negative, sometimes they're neutral, sometimes they're positive. And it might be that you are already aware of this, but it feels to me that in this week, you need to be acutely aware that there are those who will bring you down. There are those who will make you feel poor about yourself. There are those who would actually... Um, you know, question you and question your authenticity or your, or, you know, have a dig at your dignity. And I think that here, um, the message for you in this week is to actually just go ahead, be aware that the world is your oyster, but it's also your oyster in that you can choose what you want in your world. And so you can choose to move away from those that do not serve you or do not serve an idea of who you are or a belief of what you have about yourself. And so I think here it's about having the option, you know, having all these options, but being able to choose the right option, being able to choose the right option for you and recognizing that in this life that we carve for ourselves as we go along, the world is our oyster, but we need to choose to have this oyster. We need to choose to recognize that the world's our oyster and we can't only focus on things that haven't gone our way or that or people who haven't been there to support us or circumstances that have not been supportive but rather we need to recognize that let go of it and then just move on and take this world take this world and create what you want out of it i also feel that you know in this week as we go ahead with the super moon uh, and the full moon eclipse i think that this energy is it's asking you to let go of anything that's holding you back from really totally, completely taking your world into its hands and not to focus on things that haven't gone your way and not to focus on people who haven't really been there for you, but to just move on from it, move on from it. It's really about carving out a world for yourself that is the right world for you. And, and then there's lots of questions that go into that, you know, at the right at the beginning before you start carving to ask yourself what is it that you really want from the situation and then to understand that it is within your grasp even though it might not seem as if it's within your grasp even though it might not seem as if you can actually have it it you you can indeed if you were to stop focusing on what you've lost already and what you've haven't been able to achieve and just let that all go and just to go on to what it is that is still there and available to you all right i feel this is a bit of a somber card although it can be played in a very positive way there is and that is just simply that go out there this week and create what it is that you desire for yourself it is what you need in your life right now and you can actually have what it is that you desire all right i'm wishing you a fantastic week ahead and uh be blessed Look after yourselves, uh, be safe and healthy and many blessings to you all. So for those of you who've chosen the third option, we are asking what is our weekly Oracle card guidance? I'm just going to give the cards a quick shuffle. What is the message that you've come here to hear? What is your weekly Oracle card guidance? And we have 
It's the thinking woman. So I don't really read these cards in a reverse position, unless, of course, I'm guided to do so, especially not oracle cards. Although this card did come up um, in a negative, well, in a, in a reverse position, I should say, not in a negative. It's not always negative. So let's just see what this has to say. Okay, well, I feel here as you go along um, in this week, there may be all kinds of emotions and thoughts and ideas that come to your mind that may actually end up being quite unruly or quite turbulent. And it might just be that uh, they're not insecurities or they're not something that's negative, but rather something that's quite positive. You might be excited about something, some new beginnings, something that's going ahead um, with, you know, quite a, a strong propulsion. And you are actually engaged, quite engaged, but then at some moment you might find that in the week you kind of are exhausted by that or you're tired by it or it confuses you or you feel frustrated as a result or a bit irritable. So I feel like that's one of the things that need to be avoided here and the way to do that is just to pace yourself in terms of your thoughts and your ideas and the forward movement that you're making and not to be rushing through something, just to be taking your time through something. The other message that's coming up here is that you know, take your time to think about what it is that you need to think about, because I feel here that some of the frustration or some of the um, the difficulty that you might face in this week as you go along is that you haven't had enough time to think about it or to let things settle, let things come down and relax and just, you know, just have some time to reflect upon things. And then the other thing I think is that um, there's another message in here and that says that, you know, really be on your toes as far as your thinking is concerned and not, not allow your thoughts to go on endlessly and lead from one to the other, but rather be conscious in your thinking when you are thinking, when you are contemplating something, when you're trying to find the solution to something, be aware of how your thoughts are, are moving in your head or how they're working in your head. Are they working towards the greater good? Are they working towards your good? Or are they working against you? Or are they working just in circle? Are they going in circles just because you're trying to figure out something? And so to be a conscious thinker, to be, um, you know, in control of your mind as you do so. I feel here that there's a sense that you might feel quite alone and quite, um, and you might want to be alone. There's a sense here that there's, there's a need to take time out to to think about things, to reflect upon things, to absorb something, to let something settle. And there might be a need to be alone, but I feel here that even though you may need that, or you may tell yourself that you need that at this moment, it is that you, it is actually the opposite. You, you will benefit from having others around you. And you might not be able to see that at this moment or when you listen to this, but it will be to your benefit to be able to do this uh, with others in a crew or in a team or in something where others are assisting you as opposed to you having to figure this out by yourself. And then just to understand that um, if you feel alone or if you feel in a situation where you with other people, if you feel that they're not supporting you, that on some level you are allowing that to be by acknowledging it. And then to just take responsibility for that and, and turn it around, turn the situation around, either by thinking or with your energy um, or just by talking to them and, and getting them all on the same page. So that might be quite a specific um, um, comment there that might just, you know, be relevant to one person. But I just wanted to mention it. I feel here that uh, as you go along as well, there are people who are watching you. There are people who are ad admiring you, but uh, but find you perhaps too aloof to come forth and speak to you, or they find you but too detached, or they're not quite sure what your situation is, or they're not quite sure whether they they can approach you, or what your response will be if they approach you. It would take great courage from them to approach you, and it would almost feel foolish for them to approach you. So I feel here that um, you need to just if you are interested in somebody or if you see that somebody is interested in you and you would like to reciprocate, that you need to um, just be, sh well, show them in some way that um, that they can approach you and that you are open to that. Whatever it is, this card comes about when you're ready to embark upon a new phase of your life or embark upon other studies or embark upon something else that's going to take you in a direction that you haven't already been on. And at first it might feel 
uh, dangerous or not as comfortable or not as uh, secure as you would normally be feeling. You might have some regrets. You might think, why haven't, why have I even begun this? But I feel as you go along, you will realize that you're on the right path and that this is quite suited to you. This is what you were meant to do. So those are all quite specific meanings here for those of you who've chosen the option number three. Let me know what resonates and what doesn't. And I'm going to leave that message there with you and you can let me know, you know, how it works for you. I wish you all a very blessed week ahead and um, let these energies uh, work for you and uh, take it on and harness it and ride it and don't let it ride you and uh, stay safe stay healthy and blessings abound from kismet rising